Is Jesus God, Son of God, or Prophet of God? What does the Bible say? Both Muslims and Christians love and honor Jesus Christ. However, they perceive Jesus Christ differently. Christians mistakenly believe that Jesus Christ is divine. They believe Jesus Christ is God, Son of God, and part of a trinity. If one proves that Jesus Christ is not God or the Son of God, Christianity as a whole collapses, since this belief is the religion's foundation. It is very provable that Christianity is not the religion of God that he has chosen for humanity. It is imperative to mention that Jesus makes no single unequivocal statement in the entire Bible claiming to be God or asking people to worship me. Jesus Christ preached the same message as all previous messengers and prophets before him, that there is only one God and that people should worship him alone. None of the many prophets and messengers of God preached the Trinity, nor did Jesus Christ. Only after the departure of Christ did this false portrayal of him as the Son of God spread for political and financial gain. One can discover the identity of the religion prescribed by the Almighty by examining and understanding both the Holy Quran and the Bible. Both scriptures present Jesus Christ as a mighty messenger of God, who was human and not divine. First, let us examine the message of the Holy Quran. Later in this book, we will prove our certainty that the Holy Quran is from God and no one else. The Holy Quran explicitly states, The Messiah, son of Mary, was not but a messenger. Other messengers had passed before him. His mother was a virtuous woman. Both ate food, like other mortals. See how clear we make these signs for them. See how deluded they are. Quran, chapter 5, verse 75. The Holy Quran explicitly states that Jesus Christ was only a messenger, as this fact is very clear in many areas of the Holy Quran and the sayings of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, known as Hadith. Now on we go to consider the words of the Bible. Christians have a hard time grasping the idea that Jesus Christ was only a human prophet, sent by God to deliver his message to the lost sheep of the children of Israel, who were in desperate need of guidance. If Jesus Christ were God or the Son of God, many verses in the Bible would state as much or quote his statement to the fact, telling people to worship him. Through a careful study of the Bible, one would discover that no single, unequivocal statement is found anywhere in the scripture claiming that Jesus Christ is God, or quotes him saying, worship me. Nor is there a mention of God or Jesus Christ being part of a trinity. Jesus Christ never claimed to be the Son of God, let alone claimed to be God himself. He is not the Son of God in the sense that he was the begotten Son of God. Instead, he is metaphorically the Son of God in the sense that all righteous people are children of God. Thus, this title is not to be taken literally, as many Christians have done in error. Many verses in the Bible clearly illustrate that God in the heavens and Jesus Christ are two separate beings. The concepts of Jesus Christ as divine and part of a trinity did not become part of Christian doctrine until centuries later, after the departure of Jesus Christ. The word trinity is not mentioned anywhere in the Bible. In John chapter 14, verse 28, Jesus Christ states, You heard me say, I am going away, and I am coming back to you. If you loved me, you would be glad that I am going to the Father, for the Father is greater than I. In this verse, Jesus Christ distances himself from God and does not portray himself as part of a trinity. This verse explicitly tells us that Jesus Christ was at one place and God, the Father, was at another. Jesus Christ had to travel to reach God the Father, 
proving that both beings are separate entities. Many verses in the Bible demonstrate that God, the Almighty, and Jesus Christ are two different entities.